Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to transform? I am. I have not even brushed my hair yet. I have brushed my teeth. I had breakfast, but I've not brushed my hair. We are going to do somewhat of a bridal makeup. I have been asked for this a few times, an updated bridal makeup using Vive products. So the last time that I did a bridal makeup was over two years ago when I actually got married. Back then I had no finished product. So I didn't use any Vive on my wedding day. Had I got married in coming months, I would have used all my beautiful products to create my wedding look. But there's a real mixture of products here and the reason I'm doing it right now is because bridal makeup is very fresh in my memory. I was a bridesmaid last weekend. Actually, bridesmaid makeup and bridal makeup are essentially the same thing. You need it to photograph well, you need it to last just as long as the brides. I really love the look that I did at the weekend, so I'm pretty much going to recreate it. It lasted all day. It photographed beautifully and I, yeah, I just really really loved it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly brush my hair so I'm going to start with skin this is exactly what I did on the day we're going to start with toner so I'm going to use my fresh rose toner one thing I would say if you're doing your wed makeup yourself do not try anything new on your wedding day you have no idea what will happen if you're using a new skincare product that you've never touched before what if you have a reaction if you decide randomly to try a new foundation what if it doesn't work with your skin so if you're doing your own wedding makeup or or if someone else is doing it, definitely do a trial and just make sure that all the products that you're going to use are going to work for your skin. I also feel like I need to mention my voice. I've still lost my voice from screaming at the weekend. I was a noisy little wedding guest. Uh, I'm then going in with my SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier, my Hyaluronic Acid. All the skincare steps that I use work really beautiful under makeup and if you can I would use a couple of treatments exfoliating treatments and things maybe three or four days before your wedding don't do it really the night before I would say because it gives your skin just a wee second to settle and then if you can and it's your wedding day and you're feeling bougie and you feel like treating yourself I would definitely book in for a facial or something like that now that I've done that I am going to go straight in with my hydrator primer this is the Vive Skin Nova when you're using Skin Nova I highly recommend that you use it as part of your skincare routine so make sure you're using your toner first then your hydrating serum and then pop this on and what you'll get is a juicy hydrated glowing base that has a little bit of stick to it and you know what that means that means that your foundation's just gonna unpopular perhaps opinion i'm not gonna use spf i just think that it <laughs> i just i'm not gonna use spf foundation will we zoom you in for this part let's zoom you in <laughs> For foundation, I'm using my Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli. This foundation is so great. I'm going to just go in straight with that and my Smith 115 brush. I did a fair bit of coverage. I just wanted it to be flawless in photos and to last, so I'm really going to build this up. It's a wee bit yellow for me at the moment. I've not been using my facial tanner, but once I've completed my whole face, you'll see that it actually works just fine. And you can see my neck is actually a lot more yellow than my face, which again, if I was to match my face, it would probably be a bit too pink for me. So I'm just gonna buff that in. I'm just using small amounts of product and buffing it into circles into the skin. And this has a really, really nice finish to it. It's not too cakey or anything like that. It's nice, medium to full coverage, uh, and it really looks like skin. It's not too glowy, so it's not gonna slide around, but it's not too matte that our skin will look dry. And don't forget the size of your face, your ears, and down your neck. And then I really push it in around my nose ring and then I'll clean my nose ring up after. Okay, concealer, because the wedding was last weekend, it's starting to get cold, I used a really nice hydrating concealer. So this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion in the shade 3W. I'm gonna use that in all the usual spots. So underneath the outer corner of my eye, underneath the inner corner of my eye. I like to use a little bit just above my smile lines in the center of my face, down my nose, my forehead. My little chinny chin chin. There we go, and it's up to you. You can leave your concealer sitting for a little minute to get a little bit thicker, a little bit stickier, but I'm just gonna go straight in and start patting that out. And this concealer works really nicely with the foundation, even though they're different brands. I'm, I'm kind of combination. I would say I'm combination. I'm a little bit oily, a little bit dry, but if you have super oily skin, I would maybe recommend going for something like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So it's slightly drier in the texture. And because I know exactly what eye look I'm doing, I am doing my base first. Uh, I do my base first quite a lot anyway, but if you're going for something a bit heavier that involves any, any kind of pigments or shimmer shadows, I would do your eyes first. 
can't see any redness or anything anymore. Very much a blank canvas. While we're sitting with our creams, uh, our liquids on, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna cream bronze. I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande, one of my favorite little tricks. And I'm gonna use this super high up and we're gonna do a little bit of cream contouring. So I'm just keeping it nice and high on the cheeks. I do a little touch on my forehead, wee bit under my nose. I'm gonna get the same foundation brush and I'm just gonna gently start patting that into the skin. You can see it just gives a really nice natural shadow because the concealer is the same kind of finish as foundation. It looks very skin-like, which is nice. And then I know that concealer works really well on top of foundation. It's not gonna do anything weird. It's not gonna pill, it's not gonna separate. It's not gonna take our foundation away. It just It's just gonna melt right in. You can see that just gives the start of a bronze. Let's get this little bit under my nose and then I'm actually gonna take that, gently touch either side of my nose as well. And then if you're wearing your hair down, you don't need to think about it as much, but if you're wearing your hair up, you really need to push all those products right into your hairline, just so you don't have bronze and then scalp, not cute. Remember behind your ears, down your neck. I'm gonna powder at this moment in time. I'm gonna use my TLSP from Laura Mercier in the shade Honey. It's just got a slight yellowy tint to it, which is gonna really go well with the, the base products that I've used. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that, sweep that under my eyes, but I'm really buffing the powder into my skin. So it's not too much of like a thick layer, just because that over time starts to look quite dry on me. So it's all about your skin and what works for you, but this works for me. It's really patting that in. This gives a really nice airbrushed look to the skin. And then same on my forehead. You'll know yourself where you tend to go more oily and where goes oily quickest. So I would just concentrate the powder in those areas. And one thing, I would go over my brow as well, because I get a little bit oily over my brows. So before I do my eyebrows, I just put a wee bit of powder on them. Now we're at this stage, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to finish off my face with powder products. So I'm going to set my bronzer first. I'm going to use the Vive Modern Bronzer and I'm going to use the shade Tan. I usually use the shade Medium, but ever since I was super young, I always used a darker bronzer and I just used a lot less of it. For example, MAC, I would always use Dark Deep for my bronzer or Give Me Sun, which is very warm and quite orange. So our tan bronzer, you can see it is much deeper than my skin tone, probably too deep for me, but when you use it in the right way, it's just amazing. So I'm gonna go in with a tiny touch of tan one, which has got a little bit of red through it, and I'm just gonna use that to warm up. I'm using a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. If my skin tone was actually in the tan realm, I would just go in with the same amount that I usually do. But in this case, I'm going in with a tiny amount and I'm just bronzing up the usual spots. This brush is actually a NARS number three brush. I really, really like it. And just bringing that down my neck as well a little bit. I'm gonna go in with tan two now, which is slightly deeper and it's slightly cooler as well. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of that just right at the back to chisel in my face. And the way that I like to do bronzer to slightly change my face shape is keeping it nice and high here. And then as we come down to the mouth, I just drop it down. I just think that looks so, so nice. So if you are my skin tone, or maybe you wear a lot of fake tan, or you're deeper, the tan bronzer duo you will very much like. Medium's great for me every day, but if I'm doing a very glam makeup, I reach for tan, or if I've got a bit of tan myself. Let's do blush. I use two blushers, right? And I, I, hear me out, it really adds dimensions to your cheeks. So what I've used is Pesca at the fronts of my cheeks and Piazza just at the back. This is gonna really complete the cheek look. So I'm gonna use Pesca first. And with blusher, I just literally pat pat. These are our Vive Sunset blushers. And I'm just gonna start kind of in the middle and I'm just popping that on top of where I've bronzed. And it's gonna add that little peachy tone to the fronts of our cheeks. And then Piazza, this is uh, slightly deeper obviously, it's deeper than my skin tone by a long stretch. So I just go tap, tap. And then if you're nervous, if you're using a darker blush, just pat it out in your hand. But we're gonna use that at the back. Oh. Oh. It's so good. And then when I'm doing my Piazza at the back, I keep it nice and high and I almost go over the tail of the brow as well. And that is just pulling everything right up. Before we really set our makeup, I'm gonna do my highlights. I'm gonna use the Vive Nova Glow Highlight in the shade Holy Chic. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little brush. This is the KGH08 brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of that product and we're gonna pop it right at the top of that cheekbone. And then once we've applied the most of it on top of the cheekbone, I'm actually gonna really bring that down and buff it out so you don't end up with a stripe of product. 
with the Nova Glow, you might see little specks of glitter on the pan, but once you start buffing it into your skin, it just disappears and leaves a really buttery highlight. And I'm going to take that just above my brow as well, just a little bit. You can use this in a really sheer way as well if you just use less product, or you can build it right up to be a, a blinding highlight. But the reason that I'm doing it first is because once we use our setting spray, everything just melts together. All the powder products just melt into the skin, and what you're left with is... Oh, it's just flawless. Okay, let's do our wee nose at the same time. So I'm going to get a little bit of Coley Chic and just pop it right there and down the bridge of the nose as well. I'll do my cupid though while we're here. Before we set our makeup, I'm going to go back in with my Modern Bronzer in the shade Tan. I'm going to use shade Tan too, a little bit of that, and I'm just going to sweep it either side of my nose. Let's spray our face. I'm going to use my All Nighter Setting Spray. This is what you need. I'm going to spray this all over my face. It's like giving my skin a big glass of water, honestly. I love it. We always set with setting spray, let it dry, and then go in with a little bit more powder. And that is a base, my friends, that will not move. I should clean my hand. While we're just waiting for me to dry, how are you doing? Are you well? Uh, I'm very excited and terrified and nervous and over the moon. Uh, the Vive pop-up is opening in Glasgow this Friday. It's Wednesday when I'm filming this. I'm thinking you might see it tonight. Yeah, I literally have no choice. I'm very busy tomorrow, so you will be seeing it tonight. Let me know if I'm going to see it pop-up. All of these products I'm using will be at the pop-up. What a time to be alive. While we're still drying, I'm actually going to go in and start my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I literally went so natural. I've got my 24-hour brow setter here. I'm going to go and set these brows in place. I have a brow lamination at the moment. So the 24-hour brow setter works so well with it because even though my brows are laminated, they actually move around a lot more than they usually do. So having the brow setter just to make sure they're not going to move around is really important so I'm just going to go through them with this and I'm not going too brushed up just bushy enough that they look nice and natural and now we're ready to set the rest of our face I'm going to go in back in with the same brush and the powder and you can see where I'm just a bit shiny around the mouth I'm going to push that powder in just anywhere you don't want to be shiny and reflective is where I'd put the powder so like I don't want my jaw to be too shiny and you're nice and close look you can see the skin just looks nice doesn't it I might actually put a wee bit of powder here as well, just so it's not shiny right around my temple, so see just here. Let's move on to eyes. Eyes for this look are so easy. They are so easy, but I think it's all about the tones, and that's what makes it look so, I don't know, it's like romantic. It's very, very nice. So we're going to be using the Muse palette. This is my Muse palette, and we're going to use Eye Wand and Sand first, because obviously your eye makeup cannot move. See if you use this, your eye makeup will not move. And I'm putting on a nice soft layer of that all over and we're going to buff it out as our eye primer. I wish that you could all like talk to me in real time while I do my makeup, but I suppose that's why we do Instagram lives. Maybe I should do more of those. I'm going to buff that straight out. You can even use your finger if you like, but I, I am just a brush gal. I use brushes for everything. First thing I'm going to do, because again, wedding makeup, I'm going to go in with Peony all over. We're going to set this eye wand in place. I almost like apply and buff at the same time. Peony's a, a really lovely setting shade, but it's got those pinky tones to it. It leans a little bit pink. So when you're putting it on, it, start, it sets the mood, it sets the tone. And it's just going to give us beautifully soft looking eyelids. Oh my goodness. Can you see how smooth? See if you've got any discoloration in your lids or bruising or veins or anything. The eye ones just cover it straight up. It makes it very, very easy. I'm going to go in with the shade Bow. We're going for something that's not super cool toned, but it is pretty cool toned for me. So we're going to use the shade Bow first. This one right here. Honestly, when I was creating this palette, I thought that looks like the most underwhelming colour. Secret weapon. And I'm just going to start. Can I, I'm aiming quite high. I don't want it to be too low into my crease. So I'm holding my brush here. And we're just going to start buffing that in backwards and forwards. Keeping it mostly to the outer corner. But bringing it halfway along the eye by blending. So I'm kind of placing the pigment on at the end. And then using my brush in little circular movements. Just to move it around where I want. If you struggle to get your blend, just try placing your brush quite high up and the side of the brush will almost do the blending for you. It's so easy. So I'm just doing the exact same thing, placing most of the product on the outer corner and then using the blend to bring it halfway along the eye and then using the brush on its side to help me blend up towards the tail of the brow. And I just think this is so 
beautiful. There's something, I feel like warm browns, right? Warm browns are a staple. The Essential palette is my everyday palette for sure, but so is the Muse palette. And I feel like for bridal, there's something about a pinky leaning eye that is almost more timeless than a warm brown smoky eye for a wedding. What do you think? What If you're married, what did you wear on your wedding day? If you could change your wedding makeup, what would you change about it? Would you try something else on your eyes? Would you wear a different lip? I'm going to use Mystic, which is the cool kind of lavender shade. And I'm almost going to go on top of what we've done. It just slightly changes the tone, not too much. Now I'm going to go in with hazelnut eye wand under my eye. I just feel like it really finishes the look off when you have a little bit of lower lash smoke. So I'm sketching the eye wand under my eye. And then I'm going to go in with a little brush. And I'm actually going to go in with the shade Source. So Source is warmer, but it really works under my eyes. I actually don't mind going a bit warmer underneath and keeping it cooler on top. To buff that eye wand in and slightly blend it in as well. And then once I've done that, I'm actually going to go in with Source on the outer corner and just make sure that everything marries up. So I'm going to go in with the same little brush and source and I'm just going to pat that outer corner. On my wedding day, I wore shimmer across my lid. I'm not going to do that today. What I am going to do is I'm going to go back in with Peony and I'm going to add another layer over my inner corner, looking at the lid. And we're going to use that to blend to make sure that everything looks seamless. So I'm going to go right in with Peony, backwards and forwards, and just make sure that everything on the lid looks super, super blended. And this is just adding another matte layer on top of our eye ones, which means that this, the makeup's gonna last forever. I'm gonna go in with a really big brush and I'm gonna go back in with the shade Bow. And I'm just gonna really gently buff this whole section out into my temples. I'm not gonna do it as much as maybe I usually would, but I just want to make sure it's gonna be really blended. And then I'm gonna go in with a tiny little pencil brush and we're gonna go in with the shade Divine just here, which is just a really lovely inner corner highlight colour. Leans a little bit pink, really beautiful. Little scoosh of all nighter. We're gonna pop that in the inner corner. Shoosh. And then I'm actually gonna to touch a little bit of my Nova Glow in Holy Chic, so the same as my face. Highlight, I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on my brow bone. I'm just gonna go right here. Same brush. And then what you can do to make sure that everything's just really nicely blended is just go back in with your large eyeshadow brush and buff towards the brow bone highlight. And I'm actually just taking that over my inner corner highlight as well to slightly dull it down, it's a bit strong. I think we'll just finish our eyes and then we'll move on to brows. So I'm gonna go in with my Trooper liner. Actually, I did this for Cara's wedding. I did my black eyeliner. I'm gonna use brown today. I just want to see what it looks like because I think it might be nice and soft. So I'm gonna use my roller liner by Benefit and I'm gonna do a nice wing, but I'm not gonna to go too big yet, I already like the brown better. Progress. So I'm gonna keep my eye open and I'm just gonna draw that up. I mean, my eyes are definitely not cool toned. <laughs> Let's do mascara, Lash Freak mascara. I cried, nothing moved. I was crying my eyes out. It was so good. I love crying at weddings, it's very cathartic. Such a nice like way to cry. Uh, and I'm just gonna take my time to build this up, especially in the inner corner because we're going to use, what are we going to use? A half lash. I'm actually gonna use mascara on my lower lashes as well, but I'm just gonna be really careful that I don't go too clumpy with it. And also if you use a tiny little bit less on your lower lashes, if you do cry, there's just less product there for it to go wrong. Mascara is such a personal preference. If you don't wear much mascara, don't go as crazy as this for your wedding day because you'll just feel like your eyes are really standing out. At the same time, I think my biggest tip for wedding day makeup is if you are a makeup wearer, wear makeup. If you love a glam makeup, wear glam makeup. Otherwise you'll look back and be like, I didn't really look like myself, did I? I loved my wedding makeup. There are things that I would change about it for sure. It's two years later, but I'm so glad that I wore as much makeup as I did. Lashes, I'm gonna glue them up. I have here my Vive HL5 Smoky Lash. I've used these already. I'm just gonna use them again because you can reuse your lashes. Although, if it's your wedding day, treat yourself to a new pair of lashes. Uh, I'm gonna glue these up and I'm gonna stick them on. I've cut these already as well, so I've cut probably two little bundles of hair off them already. I say hair, they are uh, synthetic. They're synthetic vegan lashes. And then I'm just gonna apply these lashes to my outer corner. So literally just gonna look down and pop them right at the end. I would have wore this as my bed makeup. And then I just let the lashes really dry down and then I 
squeeze the living daylights out of them. Well, we're nice and close. Let's finish off our brows. Again, I kept them super natural and I really, really like them. I'm going to use my Cabrow. I'm very excited to try the new Benefit pomade, but I have not got it yet. I don't know if we can get it in this country, but I'm going to use the Cabrow and I'm just going to fill in the gaps to see this tail. There's a wee gap there. Same with underneath. I'm just going to make that a little bit fuller. I'm dropping down the front of my brow slightly, which in turn makes the arch look higher, which makes us look a little bit bitchy. And then the same thing on the top, if there's any areas that just look a wee bit naked, I just stamp the cabrow on so it doesn't move the hairs around underneath too much. Little freckle, uh, I always do this, so I'm just gonna boop. Okay, so for my lips, I did my, I did my usual concoction, my latest love. I have here four lip products which I am sorry about, but I am not really. Modern Lip Definers in the shade Bark and Brat. We have Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade Treasure. And we have Lip Do, but we only use a little bit of this. So we're gonna start with Bark and we're gonna sketch the, the top and the bottom of our lips and we're gonna slightly overdraw as well. So we're starting to get our shape. Same in the bottom. And then once we've done that, I'm going to swap my lip liner over to Brat and we're going to blend out Bark with Brat. Now we're going to go in with Treasure and I'm just going to use a tiny bit, so literally then I just kind of pat it on and then I do the same thing with Lip Do. We're not going to use a huge amount of it, but we're going to just going to go eh uh eh. -uh. If you're doing makeup on someone else, don't use your finger, I would say, but I'm just going to use my finger to start really buffing that in to my lips and I go right up to the lip liner. You can use a lip brush for this if you need. And then I'm actually going to go back in with my Brat lip liner and we're just going to perfect the shape if there's anything I want changed. And I bring Brat onto the lips slightly as well. I love that lip. I think it's so pretty. And then this is the kind of time that you would want to add a little bit more powder if you needed it. So my makeup's been sitting for about half an hour, my base. Another reason I kind of like doing my base first, it means I can see if anything's going to move around. So I'm just going to add a wee touch more powder. And then I might even add a tiny little bit more of Piazza just at the back. Because it's such a lovely deep rose, it actually really is, it's, it's very bridal, very romantic. Let's zoom you in. I am going to go and quickly change out of my amazing NAF salon top. I did wear this to my bed last night. Uh, to something white to give you the overall vibe and I'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh. Wait until you see what I found. Oh guys, this is so fun. <laughs> I want to get married again. I always thought that hair tucked is so beautiful. Earrings, duh. That's another thing. If you wear a lot of makeup, wear a lot of make makeup on your wedding day. If you wear hoop earrings every day, wear hoop earrings on your wedding day. This is actually a bridesmaid present from Cara, these earrings. I love them. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God. Oh, is that how you do it? Oh, I can't even remember. I mean, you can't even see it because of my white background. Uh, I very much love it. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is definitely different to the wedding makeup that I did all those years ago. Do I prefer it? Maybe. You tell me, so this is, obviously I've not got my hair done properly and I've not got my wedding dress on, but this is a picture of the makeup that I did over two years ago for my wedding day. And this is the makeup that I've done today. I think it's quite beautiful. I really love the lip. It's a bit pinker maybe than I wore. I love my brows. They're a bit bigger. I hope you enjoyed. I'll list all the products that I used down below. And I'll also link my makeup tutorial for my actual wedding makeup in case you're interested. Let me know if this helped you out. Let me know if you're getting married soon. Just let me know everything. I just love weddings. I love love. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'm just gonna crack my back because it hurts. Not what I would recommend. If you're getting married, do not have greasy hair. I don't care my face. Oh, it's so tickly. <laughs> I hear a car alarm outside. This is just perfect. It's the best. Oh, I can't open the lid. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the, yeah, blah, yeah, yeah, fuck it. Am I even in the middle of the frame? No. Let's add a little bit of coolness. <laughs> Let's make this look cool. Here comes the moon.